subscribe to my channel making impossible and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any one of my upcoming videos yo what's up friends i'm shulazari and welcome back to making impossible the channel that teaches you how to make the impossible and be the smartest person in the room in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to perfectly roll a coin across your knuckles and by saying the word perfectly i don't actually just say it i also mean it which means today's video is going to be the detailed tutorial of this coin rolling trick and it will consist of three parts the first one is obviously the basic way of rolling the coin the second one is uh, how to use gravity for doing this coin trick and the third one is what should be your hand formation while doing this coin rolling trick we're gonna take all these three things together and then perfectly roll a coin across our knuckles so without any further ado let's start our today's video I'll feature one lucky Instagram user every Monday in my Smack That Monday episodes. If you want your Instagram profile or page to be featured in my next Smack That Monday episode, follow the simple steps that are given in the video description. So now, let's continue. Rolling a coin across your knuckles is nothing new, but for those people who hasn't seen the coin rolling trick yet, this is the performance. You have this coin and this is how it actually rolls across your knuckles. Let's see how you can do this coin rolling trick. Okay guys, here's a POV of the coin rolling trick. So this is the coin and this is how it actually rolls. Now for doing this coin rolling trick, you need a coin of a perfect size, okay? Not very big or not very small, just the exact perfect size of this one. So imagine this is your hand and this is the coin. This will be the hand to coin ratio uh, for this coin rolling trick, okay? So let's say this is the coin and if I keep it over here, you can see that this part is, a, is actually the diameter of this coin, okay? Right? So just uh, take a coin of this size which fits, your, uh, which fits the lower part of your middle finger. So just take that coin. So you have this coin and the second point is if you're wearing any ring like this on your finger, then just open it because this is going to be an obstacle otherwise for the coin rolling trick. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take this coin now in your hand just like this and then you're going to use this side of your thumb to push this coin towards this side, okay? Up to this point. So the coin goes from here to this point. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to turn your hand this side and continue pushing this coin over here. And as you continue pushing, this coin comes over here and drops on the first knuckle. And after that, what you're going to do is, you're just going to use your second knuckle to press this side of the coin and it, you're going to press it downwards, okay? You're just going to go down with your second knuckle. And as that happens, the, first, uh, the coin from the first knuckle actually flips from there to the second knuckle. And you're going to do the same thing with the third knuckle and the coin will go right over here, okay? So you're just going to go like this and when the coin is on the third knuckle you're going to use this entire finger not just the knuckle but the entire finger to bring the coin inside your hand okay so the coin goes almost over here now what you're going to do is you're just going to use your thumb to go under this coin and your hand will be right now in this position okay and under this cover we are using our thumb to go over here and slide the coin back over here okay so we are sliding the coin from here to here when the hand is still face down like this so we are going to do the coin flourish uh, like this we are going to start the coin flourish with the hand faced up then we are going to do the coin rolling while the hand is face down and then we are going to bring the coin back to this point keeping the hand face down okay and we are going to do this coin flourish continuously just like this now this was the first thing this was the basic of how to do the coin rolling now secondly what you need to do is you need to know that this trick also works because of gravity and to use the gravitational force to the fullest extent what you're going to do is you're not just going to turn your hand entirely but you're also going to keep this side the pinky side uh, inclined towards the ground okay so if you keep it inclined towards the ground then the coin uh, will actually drop on the top of the knuckles very fast okay so let's say the hand is right now parallel to the ground you can see that the coin is not dropping on the 
finger by itself. It needs a lot of force that is generated by the other knuckles to drop itself onto the other knuckles. So this is what happens when the hand is perfectly flat with the ground. But if you keep this side inclined towards the ground, this is what is going to happen. The coin will actually use the force of gravity to the fullest extent and will actually drop on the other knuckles very fast. And that is how this coin rolling will happen very fast and very smoothly, okay? So this is the uh, second tip. Here comes the third point which is called the hand formation. And by saying hand formation, I don't say the hand position. I say the hand formation. And to be more exact, it would be the finger formation. Now, while I was doing the coin flourish, while I was rolling the coin across my knuckles, you have seen my fingers were always curled in. And when I was actually pulling the coin back from this position to this position, my fingers became straight. So that is the exact uh, finger formation that you need to maintain while doing this coin flourish. Because if you keep your hand straight while rolling the coin just like this, uh, you will see that it, it will be difficult for you to actually roll the coin, right? So, for that reason, you're just going to keep your hand or keep your fingers curled in just like this, up to this much, and then you're going to do the coin flourish, and the coin will exactly roll on your knuckles, as you can see, right? And it would be also smooth. So if I keep my fingers curled in while I'm rolling the coin, it will look more professional. And while I'm bringing the coin up, I'm also opening up my fingers so that I can get a support while I'm actually sliding the coin from here to this point under the uh, when the hand is actually turned over. So the coin is actually acting on the gravity the entire time. And so that it doesn't fall, I'm actually sliding the coin with the thumb across these fingers. And if I'm opening these fingers, the coin is actually getting a bigger area to slide across while coming back to its original position. So that is why while rolling, I keep my fingers closed and while bringing it back, I keep my fingers open. So this is how the coin flourish actually looks like. So just keep on practicing it. And this is the entire tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did so. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Shonen Skozari. Also, if you have any questions, you can use the comment section for that. And don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, which is a pretty savage channel. I post funny videos over there. And the link to that channel will be given right in the description box as well as in the cards. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button of this channel if you're not a subscriber yet. And turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss my upcoming videos and my future Smack That Monday episodes. Peace.